Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Conversations with Eluciana, the house that Eluciana has built, where everyone has a place at the table. If you're a new listener, I bring you greetings and salutations. If you are a returning listener, welcome back, family. Real talk on real issues, real life situations. Keep in mind, advice is never given, but opinions and a new perspective is always welcome. You can find me on most podcast streaming services as well as YouTube under Conversations with the Luciana. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Make sure to turn on your notifications to know when the next Conversation with the Luciana are posted. My posting schedule is as follows. Motivational Monday, Inspirational Empowerment Tuesday, Open Form Thursday, Coffee and Tea with the Luciana on Sundays. YouTube exclusives are on Mondays and Saturdays. If you would like to submit a topic of conversation or be a guest on a podcast episode of Conversations with the Luciana, email me at conversationswithiluciana at gmail.com. Look forward to speaking with you soon. Have a good one. Let's go. I don't care what political spectrum you're on, Republican, Democrat, progressive, independent, Greenpeace, conservative, don't really care. Watch what comes out of your mouth. Have you heard the latest? Have you heard the latest? Maybe you guys are buried under Christmas fatigue or overload that now this goes to show what this woman really thinks about the urban community or the people of color. She says that people should not be wishing people a happy Kwanzaa. And spell Kwanzaa wrong. What the fuck is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Anything to stay relevant. I'm telling you, it was a matter of time before she showed up and showed her ass, which she did. Now, why would you say that? You want people to celebrate Christmas, Hanukkah, or do you? I don't know, because you got an issue with Jews, too. Muslims, you have an issue with. It appears to be, my opinion. But now you're saying that people shouldn't, should not, Republicans should not be celebrating Kwanzaa. First of all, Kwanzaa is not a holiday for you to say who or whom should celebrate it or not. Who the hell are you? But you know what? Now, you done unwoken the beast. I want to know what the fuck is your issue. I really want to know, really, what the fuck is your issue. Anything to stay relevant. Anything. You have, I mean, what are your issues? What are your issues? Political people, politician, what are the things that you are concerned about? Other than stirring up shit. What? I'm so sick of this. Call her out. Not just condemn her. Call her out. What the fuck is your issue? I really want to know what it is. Is it important for you to question everything, but nobody can question you? You want us to believe that you represent all. Some of the people in your goddamn district probably celebrate Kwanzaa. They probably do. So you just alienate a population because you don't like it. What the fuck? You really want to do that. You really want to do that. I do not have conversations with people that are unwilling to at least meet me halfway. Y'all with the bullshit. You with the bullshit. Now all of a sudden everything is a race issue. It's a political issue, but you have no resolution for none of this shit. None of it. Some people stay quiet. You know, you want to live a long, happy, peaceful life. As the old folks say, mind your own freaking business until you bring it to me. Now, like never before, is a time where you need to watch what you say. Because I don't give a damn what y'all say. Oh, she didn't mean anything about it. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. But she thought that shit was going to fly. She really thought that shit was going to fly. I'm tired of people acting like, 
You can't speak on it. Yes, we are. You don't have the right to tell people what to celebrate and what not. We are not. I'm sorry. Ma'am, we are free in case you forgot. You know, you don't know the history. You think you can say it for shock value. Who the fuck is your audience? Who the fuck are you talking to? That's what I want. Yes, I'm dropping F-bombs because I'm a little disturbed behind this shit. Because we're just going to sweep it under the rug. If you are a person of color, even if you're not, you should be offended by what she said. And ask her privately or publicly, what the fuck is your issue? Why you always got to stir up shit? We can't get nothing done because they already think we're a party of racists or prejudice. And now you say some shit like that. What do you think people going to say? What do you think? I don't give a damn what people. You should. Because you was elected by the fucking people. Were you not? But you know what? Everybody that got a mouth have the license to say what the fuck they want. But we don't have the right to question them. You guys want us to believe that she didn't mean anything by that? She did. She tweeted the shit. So obviously, you know, she wanted a reaction. You got one, baby. You got one. You got one. I'm just saying, don't do not do that. Let's, let's talk about issues. Have you once heard that woman say anything about issues? She personally attacks whoever. Well, honey... It's time for us to put your ass on the hot seat. I don't see that you're being interviewed by anybody of color. Anybody. Black, Hispanic, nothing. You don't. You only, it appears to me, that you side with one segment of society. Even they should be tired. They should be tired of your bullshit. But they're not. They're like, oh, that's just her. That's her. How do you expect to get anything done in this country if you want to cause division? You know what? I'd rather you come out and say what it is that you really think about the people that you represent. I want you to stop pledging allegiance to a mother freaking man. Other than your husband, which should be the most important man in your freaking life. You can't have Christian views and values and say some bullshit like that. You know what? Well, you're just like a tabloid television or a bad fucking disease. You just fucking won't go away. You go dormant and here you go again. Now, I respect people's opinion. But now this is not an opinion. This is a personal attack. I do not. I do not celebrate all holidays. I don't. I just don't do it. You know, it's a personal choice. But for I don't tell people that you have no right to celebrate Hanukkah. I'm not going to say that. You know, and people are like ignoring her. No, you want to be seen. You want to be heard. And this is who you want to represent you in government. This. Well, this just goes to show you where the modern is going. The wave is going. You know what? Why don't you just say bring back the Jim Crow days? Why don't you fucking say, say that? Oh, no, you're not going to say that because you, that, that'll be too radical. Or would that be the truth? You can have a conversation with somebody who believes in one thing. At least they own it. It's just like the vaccine or the non-vaccine. You're making this a race or a political issue. It's a common issue that affects all fucking people. Stop politicizing something. If you don't agree with it, I get it. The people, the people that's telling you they are against it, I bet you if you find out they got it, you're going to be like, oh, well, damn. You know, well, damn. I settle for less. I'm just, I'm stick. I'm just tired of it. The government is not working for the people that they were elected represent. We all know that. It's a politician game. And I'm tired of people coming out, speaking up. Oh, I'm offended. How dare you? When secretly you giving people high fives. You know what? You need to call bullshit bullshit and move on. That's it. But you can't. Because once you show people who you truly, truly are, people going to be like, oh, I see you. Ain't nothing new. Ain't nothing new. I've seen this before. You know? 
You want to know how shit is not being done in this country and the division is so embedded because of people like that. People like that or people that claim, oh, I'm for it, for the poor. I'm for the middle class. In your mother freaking rich. I'm for, I know their struggle because I struggled. You don't struggle no more. Ask a billionaire. How does it feel to walk into mother freaking Walmart and shop? Mm. Mm. Tell me that. A- ask them. They don't do it. When you know better, you do better. Right? And that should be the case. Get the fuck out of here. You don't. You know what? You want to keep someone under foot on their neck so they can't get up. Literally, I am not making light of what happened to George Floyd. But that's what it seemed like it's happening. You want to put the foot on somebody's neck to stop them from getting up. Eventually stop them from fucking breathing. What? And they say, oh, I didn't mean it. The fuck? What do you mean you didn't mean it? You said it, you did it. Your, everything that come out your mouth says that you are that way. If it's not, you're, you're raising your children to be that way. Just like that judge in Louisiana who's supposed to be um who's supposed to be um objective or you know partial impartial, you know. The people in the South she ret- referred to as the N word. I'm going to say it. She's nigger, nigger, niggas. That's what she referred to them. You know, it's like, what? and y'all laughing. And you just want to like, you know, I was on, don't blame medication. Just say, this is how I really fucking feel. Believe you me, some of us may not like it, but we can respect that you came out and said that. Don't sit there and blame on medication. You said what the fuck you said and you meant what you said. So let's move on. Let's move on. Controversy and bullshit sells in America. It does. You know, even everyone has a hidden agenda. Everybody has a purpose. Some people purpose in life is to stir up shit. That's what they purpose in life is. They have resolved to the fact that they are shit starters. You know, they like to start fires and let somebody else put them out. I would love, I would love to be on a, a, a panel and just ask those questions and make you feel as uncomfortable as you make other people feel. Again, it's my opinion, it's my perspective. Even when I use that word, I don't like using it. But it hits a little different when you say it. When you say the N-word, uh, people just like, uh, nuts. Negative, narcissist, what the word is. You know, we all know what the word means, right? Judge. Now you expect not to be judged by the words that you have spoken. Girl, bye. You don't want to spell Kwanzaa. Spell the name correct. You don't want to celebrate Kwanzaa. Spell the name right. How about you do that? Know your history before you go out there and just start talking. Because right now, you're exposed. Because you, now you're coming after... You, 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 nobody ex- is exempt for your wrath. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out. Who are you speaking to? Who is your audience? Who is your audience? Who are you talking to? You can blame... And it's like right after Christmas... Tis the season to not give a fuck. That's what it is. I'm going to say what I want to say because I haven't started up shit long enough. It's been a while. So now I'm going to say this to get the people talking. Girl, bye. Girl, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Stop doing that. Why don't these talk shows that are out there have her on, right? And say, you know, here's a list of questions. And there's going to be some questions what we're going to ask like that. And how, and not take it from people that are going to kind of like empathize with her. No. What the fuck did you mean when you said people shouldn't be celebrating Kwanzaa because it's a fake holiday? 
What did you mean by that? Explain. What do you know about quantum? First of all, let's go by the spelling. Can you spell it? How do you spell it? I'm pretty sure by then she will learn how to spell the word. What is the meaning by that? So you really shouldn't. You don't believe actually in Juneteenth either, right? You, you don't. You don't know anything about it, but you talk about it like you do know. But everybody else supposed to just celebrate the holidays that you agree with because you have Christian values. How the fuck can you sit there and say that? How can you say that with a straight face? I don't know if your face is straight or not. I, don't, I really don't know. How can you say that? But they need to ask her that. But you're not going to go on and you're not going to go on networks or people are not going to ask that question because it's all a political game. I don't give a shit. I'm going to ask your ass. What did you mean by that? Explain. You, Lucy, you got some explaining to do. But you know what? They just kind of brushed her over because they oh, that's just her being her. Get the fuck out of her. Get the fuck out of her. Hair, I should say. Hair. Get her the fuck out of here. She knows what she's doing. She don't care. Controversy and bullshit sales. Ignorance is bliss. And we have taken it to the level where now we accept it. It's no longer shocking. It's accepting. Who's your fucking audience? Because people are paying attention. Don't think that we're not. We, we see you. We see you. We see you. One day somebody's going to come out and say, shut the fuck up. They're going to say it. They're going to say it. They're going to say, shut the friggity frack up. You talking too much. You know, Big Mama used to say, shut up. Get somewhere and sit down. You talking too much. You ain't saying nothing. All right. Anyway, you know, I, whew, who the fuck is your audience? Yay. This was my F-bomb, right? Don't be offended. If you are, I apologize. No, I'm not. I'm not apologize because this is what I feel. This is how I feel. This is how I express myself, and I'm passionate. Can I choose other words? Yes, I could, but mother freaker, I'm not. Everybody's not choosing their words carefully, so why should I? If it offends you, I'm sorry. It's my opinion. That's it. That's all it is. I'm stating what I see as I see it. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Go look at her tweet. Go back. Go back and, and, and not just her with all these controversial politicians and celebrities and, um, you know, musicians and athletes. Go back and see what they said. If you're going to hold somebody feet to the fire, hold them all. Thank you for listening to another podcast episode of Conversations with a Luciana. I look forward to speaking with you again. Until then, be kind to yourself and others. Make every day your best day. Stay encouraged and press forward. For the best is yet to come. Peace and I'm out. Let's go.